Covering older games is kind of a bit difficult to do. In this example, Maple Story was released in the US back in 2005. Naturally, things like gameplay, controls, and just about everything else are going to be a bit dated. For instance, Maple Story doesn't have a 1920 by 1080 resolution option. Sorry about that. You also don't control it like a normal MMO that we're used to. Instead, you move with the arrow keys, attack using control, and loot with Z. But that's part of the charm of the game now, right? It's what makes it unique and sets it apart. So criticizing a game for those things is pretty much pointless. What some people may see as ancient game design, oh god, 10 years is ancient? What does that make me? Some people may see as a welcomed blast from the past. Nostalgia's a bitch. So when I finally decided to cover MapleStory because you all wouldn't stop requesting it, I figured I'd just go at it like a brand new player and throw everything I know out the window. Well, that's done. Maple Story starts off with an ad. For itself. That bodes well. Oh man, look at all this cool stuff! Oh my god, play Maple Story for free? No way! I've only downloaded it, created an account, and started the game, but I had no idea! I wanna play that game! I guess it's a good thing I'm playing it then. It's time for character creation! The music's a bit loud! Can we turn it down just a little? Please? It's kind of making my eyes and ears and nose and fingernails bleed! First, you'll pick a class. None of which are the ones they showed during the ad. Color me confused. I just picked one to make the music stop. Mercedes, get me out of here. Then you'll pick male or female? Uh... You can also change your face, and I couldn't figure out how to change anything else, so moving on! After this, you get the option to turn your character into a burning character, allowing you to level up faster. Sure, I guess. After this is your character's anime intro. It's actually fairly impressive, though I would love to point out all the inconsistencies in it, but I'm not sure if I'll get copyright strikes for that, so I'm not gonna. Short story even shorter, we fought the evil black mage and kind of won slash lost. We defeated him, but his final spell was a curse on us all. And as the ruler of the elven race, that's kind of bad for me. Naturally, I decided to take this up with the elders. We had a long drawn out conversation, which could be summed up like this. I'm sorry I failed you. We're, We're sorry, sorry we, we failed, failed you. you. No. I'm sorry. No, we're sorry! It's okay, I forgive you. It's, it's okay, okay, we forgive you! Hugs. Hugs! The game then presents you with a small tutorial, where your character is level 250. I've always liked games that let you see how badass you could become before stripping it all away. Yeah, I slaughtered those adorable slimes! And then it's time to hibernate for a couple hundred years. Unfortunately, this hibernation did not result in a butterfly. Instead, I'm now a level 10, which my character fourth wall breakingly states. That means it's time for some extreme grinding. This is what I did for the next few hours. As I stated, you attack with the control key and use other assorted keys for special attacks. Then you gather up your loot by pushing Z, and then you kill some more. You can also do quests, but half the time I had no idea where I was going, or how to read the map, or how to look up quests, or anything. Maybe I missed something, or everything? I don't know. And frankly, after a few hours, that was about all I could take. I found the game to be fairly mindless, which is actually a trait in the game's favor. I guess I just wasn't in the mindless mood. Now, perhaps this is exactly what you're looking for in an MMO, but I'm not really one for older games, especially ones I don't have an emotional attachment to. So for me, my time in MapleStory was okay, but I was still clearly playing a very dated game. But what do I know? It could be amazing. Being this old and still kicking, I guess it has to be, right? And the sequel has been confirmed that it's coming to North America, so I'm sure I'll be trying that when it gets here. Anyway, there. I've done Maple Story. You happy now? Make sure to level up your MMO knowledge by visiting MMORPG.com, subscribing to our YouTube channel, and by following us on social media. To catch up on the week's biggest MMO news, watch our latest MMO FTW. And to see if there's a better MMO out there for you, watch one of our latest first impressions videos. Thanks for watching.